Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the front end loader. This fly was designed by Umqua Signature Tire, Tyler Olson. He was looking for a fly that floated low in the water but held up a nymph well. It uses stacked hackle, and I'd say he got it right. Here's the fly in the vise. So the hook we're going to use today is a Kona BC4 in uh, size 14. That's their curved nymph hook. It's a barbless hook with a wicked point on it. And the thread we're going to start with today is a uni thread in 8 aught. The color is camel. We'll get our thread started about two eye lengths behind the hook eye. Form a thread base, wrapping well into the bend. Back up to our tie-in point, where we're going to tie in a piece of McFlylon Polypro. It's in the color pink, and this is just a hot spot on this fly. I'll we'll tie this one on top, wrap back into the bend, and we'll cut this off short, like so. Got a piece of pearl colored flashaboo here. This is going to be a rib for the fly. And we'll tie this end down to the base of that hot spot. Now, an unusual trick for this fly to add a little robustness to it is to form a dubbing loop, which we're not going to fill with dubbing, but we are going to spin it up to make the thread stronger and then we're going to wrap this up the body to help protect that flashaboo that we just tied in. And some super fine dubbing and a light brown for the body. Form a thin noodle and wrap up to our tie-in point. There we go. Now the flashaboo, we're going to counter wrap that. Tie it off. Now to protect that, we are going to take this dubbing loop and our fancy Stonfo tool here. We're going to spin that up into a rope and then we're going to wrap that up the body. And when we reach our tie-in point, we'll tie that off. Cut our thread. And our wing is next. That's just some simple deer hair. It's a very small wing, so maybe a third of a pencil's worth. Cut some off from the hide. Get rid of all the short fuzzy stuff. We'll get it in a stacker. Now the butt ends of this are gonna be cut off. So off camera here, I'm gonna get rid of some of that excess material. And we want this to be about a hook length like so, measure that out. We want this to stay right up on top. So we're gonna take just a few thread wraps, pulling it tight. It's eight aught thread, so you can't pull too tight, it'll all come apart on you. There we go. And we're gonna trim away all of this material. Being careful not to cut our thread. I'll wrap back up through that. 
back a little ways to our about where our hook point is. I'll lay that down a little more and give us some room to tie in our next material, which is going to be a cider for this fly. And we're going to get some more of this McFlylon Polypro in the color pink, about a half of a hank's worth. And we're going to tie this in. This is going to be our cider. And we're going to tie that in right in front of our wing. Cut off our excess. And you can cut this any length you want, really. I like it just a tad shorter than the wing itself. Next, we're going to tie in the post for our, our hackle. And that's going to be a piece of Flex Floss in brown. It's made by Spirit River. And I have used monofilament, uh, which is really slippery. This is rubbery, and uh, thread really seems to grab it and hold it in place. So I'm going to form a loop that's about two inches. Give us something to hang on to. And the hackle is just uh, from a grizzly saddle. This is one size larger than what the hook is. So this is a size 12. And we'll prepare it by cutting off some barbules on either side of the stem. We're going to tie that in right in front. And now a little bit more dubbing just to cover all of that up. It's not going to take much. Now when it comes time to wrap this, that pink cider always seems to get in the way, so what I do is I take a piece of painter's tape. It's not very sticky, so it's easy to remove. Now I don't have to worry about catching any of that polypro. And we're going to wrap this hackle up, and we want it to end at the hook eye. So you can just pull your material forward like so to see where you're at. That's about it. Now we're going to wrap back down, form a nice bushy hackle. We reach the bottom. We're going to tie it off. can just let go of the hackle. You can see it's not going to go anywhere. And you can actually use it to steer as you wrap. Once we've got that tied off, we're going to jump forward to the eye. and cut off our excess hackle. And we're going to bring that forward to the eye like so and tie it off. But before I do that, I'm going to add just a drop of zap a gap to the base of that tie-in. Probably isn't necessary because as you fold it over, it's going to hold the hackle in place. I guess I just do that out of habit. So now we're going to stroke back the hackle and capture that at the eye with a loose turn and between the thread and that spandex. And we cut off that excess spandex. Form a small head. Move that tape that is getting the way. Get out our trusty whip finish tool. Four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot. Cut our thread. And add a little head cement. This is Loon's water based. 
clear it out of the eye. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.